you are known for your anal scene. Yeah. So what what's your anal process, Alexis? Oh, it's changed a lot. Um, I like to say I'm like a perfectionist. So being like as clean as humanly possible is actually my biggest worry. Mm -hmm. Um, stretching and everything, that's fun. I think either you your body likes it or doesn't. And mm -hmm. I'm grateful that mine does. So like mm -hmm. the actual sex part is very easy. It is all the prep. Um, I don't fast anymore. That helps a ton on anal days because I used to be hungry. Mm -hmm. Um now I pretty much wake up about three hours before my scene, two hours to clean out um, on that cold bathroom floor. I try to make it nice. <laughs> so wait, are you on the bathroom floor for two hours or like do you do an enema, wait a while, expel it, like kind of walk around, mm -hmm. make sure and then like do another one or are you like on that bathroom floor for two yep, hours? I'm on that bathroom floor for like two hours. I would say like the first hour um, and I pretty much know now like I get like a one of those big things of water mm -hmm. um, cause I like to use like filtered water mm -hmm. it helps a lot. Um, and I pretty much get to the point where I think I'm clean. That takes me about an hour. And then I put a butt plug in and then I'll go walk around, brush my teeth, pack my set bag. Um, and then I go back, take the butt plug out. Usually mm -hmm. a little something going on. Mm -hmm. So I clean some more and then I decide if I need the emodium or not. So emodium constipates you. Mm -hmm. if you guys do not know this yet. It is, can be your best friend and your worst enemy. Mm -hmm. it, um, I am very sensitive to it. I can only take like half a pill mm -hmm. and then a lot of water and I can, everything's good. I take more than that and I uh, get what I call an emodium cramp. Oh, um, yeah. So basically it feels like a runner's cramp, but right. times a hundred. Yeah. <laughs> it's so bad. Um, but in the past like year, year and a half, I've been eating before all of my anal scenes um, because it just, once you're clean, you're clean. Right. Um, I spend those two hours to make sure that I'm clean enough for a long time, like mm -hmm. for the rest of the day. So it also takes a while for food to digest yes, and get through yes. your system. So I like to eat like chicken and rice uh, before oatmeal, something like that. Mm -hmm. um, and it helps a lot. So I've definitely been loving anal a lot more now that I'm not so like rigid with my routine mm -hmm. and then also just like being more I've done so many scenes that it's just like I'm just like oh fuck it like yeah. if, if something happens it happens and yeah. I've realized that like the people I'm working with are so used to it so yeah it's yeah totally I mean I think if you've been working in the industry long enough you've seen I mean I've seen anal accidents oh, yeah. and same and I'm just like, sides. it's all good, girl. Yep. Like, you know, I mean, we, you know, in the adult industry, we put a lot of demands on performers' bodies. And I think that, like, you know, if you're a seasoned um, director or crew member and, you know, if you have, like, any compassion whatsoever, like, I think you understand that, like, what we ask of you is a lot. So, yep. you know, it's understandable that, like, every once in a while something should happen. Yep. And that's okay. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And it's interesting because everybody does like figure their body out after a while. Cause everybody that I talk to about anal, everyone has a different method and they figure out what works for them after like a lot of practice. Yep. Cause it's also like just now, um, like I know it, like what I've been eating that week, mm -hmm. if it's good or bad for my stomach. So I kind of have an idea of like what's going on versus before I was not paying attention. I mm -hmm. was just eating whatever doing whatever. And then I was making it so much harder for myself. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you find that you're more in tune with your body since starting in porn? For sure. Um, and I would say that I was pretty in tune with my body before because I was like an athlete growing up. Mm -hmm. So the demand on my body is pretty familiar, but not the, um, like sexual parts of my body. Like I never, knew about like vagina health because I didn't really need to think about it. Right. Um, I was sexually active, but I wasn't super like out there and freaky. So mm -hmm. um, getting in and then I'm like, whoa, why is my body going crazy? Why am I cramping? Why does having sex with this person hurt? It's never hurt before. So that was really uh, interesting whenever I got in that first year. Mm -hmm is you have to get past that first year. And in that first year, you're going to get really sick <laughs> because it's like going to preschool. You have so <laughs> many different germs. Right. Um, girls are going to tell you all different types of advice, which might work for them, but it might not work for you. Mm -hmm. So it's just trial and error, honestly. Yeah, no, that, that makes a lot of sense. So you said that um, 
you found that your body reacted differently with different people. Like, Mm -hmm. why do you think that was and how do you work with that now? Um, I like anal because, um, my, like, I'm not very deep. Um, Mm -hmm. and you have a shallow vagina. I have a very, very shallow vagina. It can hear that all you men with like smaller penises. You are welcome. She is your girl. Yes. You are very welcomed. Okay. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, but, um, yeah, so I, I can stretch mm-hmm. like I like uh, the double and all of that. But um, once it starts hitting back there, it just hurts. Mm-hmm. There, There's nothing else. I don't like that type of pain. There's good pain. There's bad pain. Um, and then back to anal, like when it, I just related, if I was feeling that super deep and kind of pain, it would feel good in my butt. Mm-hmm. But in my vagina, it doesn't. And then I'm also thinking uh, like very practical, like, hmm, this is my uh, like main form of work so I should probably be very uh conscious of what's going on (laughs) so do you find then so if you get booked with somebody who is a really big dick do you opt to do you like say like I'd rather do anal with this person um no I kind of there's only one or two guys that really do it to me and they're so awesome that I yeah. I'm just like I'm so in the moment mm-hmm. that I'm not thinking about it and I've kind of learned to like right after the scene take ibuprofen hot bath um you know make sure there's no cramping going on because mm-hmm. you can get bruised mm-hmm. um I've gotten bruised oh wow <laughs> yeah um on your insides it's not fun 